Hello, once again, uh, welcome to Ron the Cat's Keyboard Component Lab. Um, uh, this is a bit of a supplementary video after lunch, which was excellent as always. Um, and uh, what we hope to show you today is, uh, now is a little bit of progress that we've made with, here, uh, with the tape drive. So as you can see, we've got everything opened up here, tape drive out, so that we can work on it reasonably easily. Um, and uh, in going through uh, looking at the um, analog board on the bottom of the tape drive mechanism, uh, we found a couple of things. So there was a broken pad on the bottom of uh, this circuit board, and also on the erase head, one of the wires uh, that link it to the board had come loose. So we fixed both of those, and that seems to have helped things along a bit. Um, so what we've got is keyboard components, uh, plugged in the back here, we have a replica basic cartridge. Um, so what we'll do is uh, hopefully demonstrate a bit of saving and loading of uh, data to tape through basic. So uh, if we go here, we can see basic at the bottom of the menu. Uh, a bit of a B takes us into basic. Uh, we can then write uh, the universal uh, first program of all languages everywhere and we can prove that that works uh, and then what we can do is to try to save it so uh, what we'll do is put it in slot 4 uh, so the first thing that's going to be spotted at the moment I don't have the tape in uh, so uh, that will cause an error and it calls the uh, tape drive to open I hope there we go so I tried to save it no tape, please give me a tape. Happily, uh, Ron the Cat has a data storage tape with suitably um, infrared transparent leaders in it. This has been rewound, which uh, seems to be a requirement to get things to work even vaguely reliably. So we'll pop that in there, and then we will do a P save into record four. So the tape, fast forward, the heads have come in because it is seeking uh, the record numbers. So it's now found uh, uh, record four and saved the tape and we're now back in, back in control over here, which is good. So what we'll do now is reset everything. Uh, I will eject the tape, uh, rewind it, um, and we'll show you why this is kind of important in a bit, hopefully. So we can put the tape back in, we can go back to basic. Uh, I can prove to you that there is no program in memory. So nothing there. Nothing up my sleeves, honestly. Uh, and we can then try to reload uh, the program from uh, record four. So again, the tape goes in seek mode. It's looking for the uh, tones that start each uh, record. So it's record 4 and hopefully momentarily it will not interesting okay let's stop um, 